Network Discovery is a lovely little system whereby when you turn it on, on one computer, other computers can literally instantaneously, honestly, see that you have got resources that you're sharing, etc., and they can see your computer and they can connect you, etc. Okay, without network discovery, you need to know their computer names, server names, etc., IP addresses to connect to them. Okay, network discovery. In Windows Server 2012 and 2016, okay, comes with all of these saying off. Okay, and when you try and click on and save changes, it appears that it's happened, but when you go back, you actually see it's still off. Okay, now I'll give you a quick example of having it on. What does it actually do? Okay, we're on a client computer. And we want to see what happens. Okay, network, just by clicking on there, automatically it found server 006, which was basically the server that had network discovery turned on. You can click refresh, you know, and it'll find it. There you go. You see, it keeps finding it almost instantaneously. And then you can go in there and see what's being shared, etc. Okay, so back to how to enable the network discovery in server 2012 and 2016. Okay, the first thing to know, it's actually all due to services being disabled or turned off. Okay, so services, okay, go there. And you need to make sure four main services are enabled. Okay, just give this a little bit of time to list through all the services. The first thing is DNS client. Okay, there we go. Make sure it's running. Okay, if it is disabled or whatever, properties, you know, change it to manual or automatic and then start the service. Okay, automatic, it starts up every time. Manual, you need to manually do it. Okay, that was the first one. Then we have function discovery resource publication. This generally comes disabled at the box. Okay, so once again, make sure you turn to manual or automatic and then start the service. Okay, then we have SSDP discovery. Okay, similar kind of concept. Make sure it's turned on to automatic or manual and you start it. Okay, if it's not started. And the final one is U. UPNP. There we go. This one, similar concept. Okay, basically make sure it's running, it's manual. Okay not disabled okay this you can probably survive without it as you can see it's not running and we still had network discovery okay however these are the four things that microsoft suggests need to be up and running okay so once you have these things enabled and started okay all you then need to do is right click over there open network and sharing center advanced sharing and then very simply, based on the profile, for example, private or guest, public, domain, etc., what you want to do, turn on network discovery and then click save changes and you will get the behavior that was shown before. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this has helped. Thank you.